The news at 11 continues with some clarity on two controversial Trump White House policies. Today's Supreme Court ruling uh, just coming out a tremendous success, a tremendous victory for the American people and for our Constitution. First, let's talk about the travel ban. The Supreme Court ruled five to four today. It's constitutional. The majority of justices agreed the president has the right to deny people entry into the U.S. from any country he sees fit in the name of national security. How has this been working out during the court challenges? Our John Henry looked into the numbers. While today's news provides insight as to the future of the travel ban, it's important to note it's been up and running since December. And since that time, one of the only ways people living in impacted countries could get into the United States was by getting a waiver. Well, tonight we learned just how many people have actually gotten a waiver, and it's not a lot. According to the State Department, less than 2% of interested applicants have been cleared for waivers to enter the United States as of April 30th. That's out of a pool of roughly 33,000 people. Numbers from Senator Chris Van Holland of Maryland, who pushed the government to reveal more information about its waiver program. His office sent us this letter it received Tuesday evening from the State Department. It details just how many people applied and how many were cleared. But it still comes with questions, like how many people have actually received a visa. What we're surmising is that just being cleared for a waiver doesn't actually mean that you get a visa to come to the United States. That's Serene Shabaya, a senior staff attorney with Muslim Advocates. She says the government has not been transparent to the public. That waiver process is not a real thing. It's actually window dressing and a sham. People often don't get a chance to apply for it or to submit any documents to show that they should qualify. Um, a lot of people are getting automatic denials. She added that her organization does not have any clients who have received a waiver. Adam?